Multiplying and dividing monomials. So there are two parts to this. There's figuring out the power of z that we need, and there's figuring out the number that we need. So I'll try to organize it in this way. So the power of z, well, we have to find the numerator. Since we're multiplying powers of z, we add their exponents. So the numerator is 8, and the denominator is 7. Right? There's only one thing. And the way you deal with the numerator and the denominator is you subtract, right? So you have eight on top, seven on bottom, so you'll have a one in all, which gives us z to the power of one. Ooh, and that's the same as z, so we can already tell this is the answer. But let's go ahead and look at the number. Well, there's an eight on the top, there's a nine on the bottom. Looks pretty clear that that one's our answer. Okay, how about this? So we've got our c, We've got 5 plus 2 equals 7. And on the bottom, we have 9, because there's only a 9. And when we subtract, we get negative 2. So that's the power of c that we need. For our number, we'll have 2 times 4 divided by 10. And we can cross out and get 4 divided by 5. So it should be 4 fifths c to the negative 2. All right, how about this? So we have e here. We have e to the 1, right? There's a secret 1 there, plus 9 equals 10. And on the bottom, we have a 2 equals 2. So that's going to give us an 8. 10 minus 2 is 8. And on the right, we'll have our number, which is 3. Sorry, I said right, and I pointed to the left. Sorry, guys. It's one of those days. 3 times 5 divided by 4 equals 15 fourths. So we're going to have 15 fourths e to the 8th. Now, they want this in a mixed number form. So 15 fourths is the same as if we divide 15 divided by 4, we'll get 3. There'll be a remainder of 3, so it'll be 3 and 3 fourths, e to the eighth. So far, we've been able to tell just from the power of e, but we don't want to get lazy, especially if we have to type in the answer ourselves. So we have p here, and we'll have... 3 plus 5 equals 8, and we'll have 10 in the denominator, so we'll get a negative 2. So we want p to the negative 2. Again, we can already tell the answer, but we'll go ahead and say 35 over 9. That's an improper fraction, so we're going to want to go ahead and find the mixed number. So 27. That's 8, so 3 and 8 ninths, p to the negative 2. Cool. All right, that's an O, not a 0. So our O will have 8 plus 5, which equals 13. We'll have a 4 here, which equals 4. We'll subtract, we'll get a 9. And to the left, we'll have a 10 over 9, which will be, it's almost 9 over 9, right? But we'll go ahead and do it. We'll have one left over. So it's 1 and 1 ninth. So it should be 1 and 1 ninth, O to the ninth. Right? O to the ninth. Cool, we're getting the hang of this. All right, so we have 2 over 8 times 7 over here as our number. I switched it up, I did that one first this time. And we have a secret one there, so we have 1 on the top. And on the bottom, we have 9 plus 8, which is 17. And when we subtract, we get negative 16. Go to the negative 16. And we will have, this cancels out, so it'll just be 1 
over 28. Oops, screwed up. Ignore that. This becomes a, oh no, that's right. Yeah, 1 over 28. O to the negative 16. Now, they have J's there. I don't know why I said O. Should be J. I'm thinking about the last problem, right? 1 over 28th J to the negative 16. Looks like it's that one. Okay, oh, here's O's. Maybe I was anticipating the future. So we have 2 over 9 times 3. No simplifications there. So it'll just be 2 over 27. That doesn't seem to narrow down the choices at all. This is a 1. So we have 1. We have 7. O plus 5 in the denominator equals 12. 1 minus 12 is negative 11. So we know we're going to have an O to the negative 11. Looks like that one's right. 2 27ths. O to the negative 11. How about this? All right, well, the, G, the I, we have 3 plus 9 on top, or 12. And on the bottom, we have an 8. So when we subtract those, we get 4. So we have an I to the fourth, probably is this, right? And then for our number, we have 8 times 4 divided by 9. There's no simplification there, so it's just 32 divided by 9. So when we write that as a mixed number, we'll get 3 and 5 ninths. 3 and 5 ninths. That matches. So 3 and 5 ninths, i to the 4th. Cool. All right. 7 plus 6 is 13. And we just have a 3 on the bottom. So we subtract, and we get 10. And this is all z. So it's z to the 10th. Again, these problems have been set up so you can tell the answer just from that. But maybe there should be you know multiple options with z to the 6, and then you'd really have to do the work, right? So then we'll cross out, we'll get a 3 and a 2, we'll get 27 halves. So we do 27 divided by 2, that'll give us a 13, 26, so 13 and a half, which is that, hooray, 13 and a half z to the 10th. All right, and the last one. So we have 9 on the top, and we have 6 plus 3. Ooh, this is an exciting case. We're subtracting, we're going to get 0. Ooh, weird. A to the 0. What on earth is A to the 0? Oh, you know that anything to the 0 is 1. So there's not going to be any A in this answer. So 2 times 9 times 2 divided by 9 times 3 equals 2 over 27. So it's 2 over 27, a to the 0, which is just 1. So it's just 2 over 27. That was cool. All right. Now, just because there weren't a's in that last problem doesn't mean there aren't going to be a's on your report card. So keep studying, and I'll see you next time.